She proud of me shine divine wisdom I hope you're good I hope you're finding a way to carry on through these trying times so I want to share something with y'all before I get into the messages so um, earlier this week a member of my family encountered a crisis And God and my spiritual crew, they come in closer to me so I can hold, stay steady and strong and hold the light and love to help them, to help those that are in trouble, even my family. And that's a gift. That's just naturally within me. Now, yesterday, after I knew that they were settled and safe, and then I helped in some way, yesterday when I woke up and began my work day, I woke up feeling exhausted. And I I automatically knew what that meant because... um, Part of the practice I've been doing is staying in tune when I'm off balance, when I'm not feeling well, and tapping into what is that emotion. And at that time, I was just tired and exhausted when I woke up. Fast forward, went into work, fast forward 10 hours later. After working 10 hours, I was done. I was so exhausted. 
by the end of the day and I knew that I had to address the feelings so I can release it. So I can get back stable and feeling secure again and balanced. So as I was shutting down and getting ready to lay it down, I heard the song Heart Not Life by Jay-Z. And I knew that were my those were my <laughs> that was a way of my twin angels who are part of my spiritual crew let me know look we got you. And really they were trying to put a smile on my face too, trying to help me to transmute what I was emoting into something positive with music. Because music does do that. It's, it's a healing vibration with music. And I heard, it's the hard not life for us. It's the hard not life for us. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's the hard not life. And that's how I was feeling. It's like, why? And you're going to do this. This is human. You're going to ask, like, I'm so tired of my family going through the most extreme hardships. That's how depleted I was. But I had to, uh, in the midst of feeling that anger, I knew the root cause was sadness. So I cried it out. I cried myself to sleep. Just a little nap. I couldn't sleep fully. So, but when I did get back up, I, I felt stabilized. So I said, now I need to laugh. So I went and looked for me something to laugh at on Netflix. And chilled a little bit and checked out one of my favorite shows that I laugh out loud to, which is One Day at a Time with Rena Moreno. It's a good show. Check it out. But I felt inclined to share that with you good people because don't deny your emotions. Don't repress them because it can cause disease when you're uneasy and not addressing it. It can create disease. And I ain't trying to have that for myself. So now I'm more tapped in and tuned in to address, addressing the uneasiness within me. Whether it's sadness, whether it's madness, whether it's anger, whether it's disappointment, whether it's heartache, whether it's grief, whether it's trauma. We're intelligent enough if we be still for a little bit and check in with ourselves to know what the root issue is. So I've been putting that in practice and I want you to start doing that the same. So let's get into it. These are the channeled messages that came my way from Spirit. And... Um, one of the messages is some of you are holding grudges that you don't even that don't even belong to you. They are the issues and hardships of others mixed in with your own. Sometimes it's your parents, your grandparents. Sometimes it's your friends and your family. Release yourself from the weight that is not yours to carry. You should not be bound to any false mentality, which has nothing to do with you. Release the burdens. The next message from Spirit. No one in this world is better than the other. Don't think you are better than someone in life or in any form of relationship. We are all humans here trying to figure it out. Release the judgment. No one is superior to
to anyone. No human is superior to anyone on earth. Okay, so I'm a born seer, guide, and messenger. This I know of myself. I'm not anyone's savior. You are the captain of your own soul on this earthly realm. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. My mission, the mission, is to encourage and uplift those who are in the space of allowing the healing to take place. My words will not teach, but if you are open, they can reach your soul and be the catalyst for healing and finding your purpose. So I'm going to tell y'all something. And please don't try this at home. I am a spiritual, intuitive medium. Um, I have been honing my gifts for years now. Um, so I asked God to lift the veil. Meaning I wanted to see what was being hidden. Be prepared. If you do try to do this, because all hell will break loose, literally. The cold, hard truth of illusions and lies will be revealed. And you got to be strong in the mind, body, and spirit to take it all in. Because the reason why I wanted God to lift the veil from the illusions that were being projected my way is because I want to know who was for me and against me because I knew I was about to travel on this new chapter in my life and a new journey. And I, I needed God to show me who's going with me. As simple as that. So the cold hard truth of illusions and lies will be revealed. It may hurt, but now you know. Once you know, you can't unknow. Get ready to take a journey into the unknown and unseen. It became the passageway to my healing and overcoming. It prepared me to be in the flow of receiving an abundance of blessings. Don't look back as the reminder when I start feeling off track or not balanced. In the wake of the process to ignite my passions, I kept hearing Pops say, that's my dad, was in the spiritual realm, you can do anything you put your mind to. His words helped me to harness the power within me to win. Knowledge is power. I consider myself a lifetime student, studying and practicing on the regular. To keep my inner being elevated. I love to learn. Since I have been walking in my purpose. I'm noticing a fast forward motion with healing. And a positive outlook on life. Yes, I'm going to always be a work in progress. Yeah, I know this life can get hard and ugly and crazy. But the difference now is I am aware that I'm a free and whole being. With the new attitude, as I soar, I have gained a bigger picture perspective. So I want to share this with y'all too. And this was Jesus coming by my way again. Um, usually when I'm in a shower, taking uh, a bath, um, when I'm near water, water, that's like a portal. So, um. I easily receive messages that way too. That's my quiet time too. So that's when most information can be downloaded clearly. So I was given the image. Um, it's a television show called The Chosen. There's a scene in that show where this minister or priest or he's something like that. But he finally gets to meet Jesus for the first time. And he's in his Jesus' physical presence. Jesus was really willing to meet him. And in the scene, the, the um, I'm just going to say the priest, he is about to kneel 
before Jesus. And Jesus stopped him before he did it. And so the priest was looking at him like, why not? And basically, Jesus was saying to him and showing him, look, we're equal. You don't have to bow down to me. And it brought me to tears because my first encounter with, Je with Jesus was the same. And still to this day, it's the same. You know, like looking at us as equals and I'm here to help you, to show you the kingdom and the tools and resources that you can use to break free of the worldly stuff. And tap more into the world within. Your gifts within. Jesus is the first teacher who taught me the glorious truth of the divine that dwells within us all. I learned that we are on one accord and are the pure extensions of source energy. When we are tapped in and tuned into our inner being and higher selves on the daily, no matter what, the focus of feeling good and less suffering becomes the way of life. To those who are mourning, it's the grief causing you to shut down or creating a desire to live your best life now. This question will expose your point of traction for divine guidance. Be still and know that I'm God. I just heard that. Be still and know that I am God. In the golden silence, wait patiently for the answers. They reside within your soul. Okay. So, um, Spirit wants me also to share another um, Bible passage with you and I don't read the Bible I never read the whole Bible I never wanted to and not to be disrespectful I just never felt guided to read the whole Bible by my spirit um, and what I am learning why? because I'm noticing that um, spirit is guiding me more to these um Bible passages in the past um, in the past few episodes um, Bible passages will come at me and I do not know like Bible verses like the back of my hand I don't and this one is 1 Peter um, 3 8 through 17 I was guided to read that word, and it came to me like that. So I went and read it, and I was told that, you know, of course you know the Bible holds the bread of life. It is the living word. And, you know, the Spirit said it is also a resource that can be an aid to well-being. So let me read this to y'all. They want me to share this passage with you. This is my spiritual crew. This is God coming through. Okay. Finally, all of you, be like-minded. Be sympathetic. Love one another. Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you are called, so that you may inherit a blessing. For whoever will love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. 
Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better if it is God's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. So I needed to share that message with you. And I hope it touches you and reaches you in some way. The purpose of this platform is I'm being used as the vessel. To help you to get on the, to be the catalyst to your healing and your spiritual growth and evolution. Don't take it personal. Take the bitter with the sweet. Easy come, easy go. That song just downloaded my spirit. So some of you need to start moving in that manner. Okay. All right, guys. Today, I just want to send love and light your way. Spread some encouragement and enlightenment. My family had went through it this week. And you know, when your family is hurting, you can hurt too. But I just say, don't deny your emotions. Address the pain so you can release. Tears are purification process, okay? If you're not crying... You mad as hell all the time. And that's just the cold blooded truth. Start start checking in with yourself. Start tuning in with your emotions. And that's what I mean by open your heart. Okay? So the goodness of divine can flow through. Be easy, y'all. Stay positive and strong. Trust in God always. Be the light, love, and change you want to see in this world. Everything is everything. That's Lauren Hill. Music just flowing through me. Listen to that song. Everything is everything by Lauren Hill. Love is the thing, you know. God is love. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. And I close the message with that. Watch, watch your mind, good people. Thoughts become things and experiences. Open your heart. And if it's broken, let it bust wide open so the light of God can shine in. And always find a way To stand rooted in your power. As I send love and light to you. I hope it reflect back to me. I'm leaving you with hope and faith. Seek it and you shall find. Y'all take care good people. Be blessed. Love ya.